Hi everybody, I'm Dawn Thompson and welcome to the DT's Detox. Today's I Deserve It topic we're going to discuss is I will be the warrior I need to be to beat down every negative self-judgment. This is a big thing going on right now. Why did I send this IDI out? Because we have a lot of blaming happening on the planet. Whose fault? Who did it? Who, who, why is it? Why is this happening to me? And the simplistic version of this quote is that you have to be the badass warrior that takes care of you and your problems and your challenges and your hurdles. That is what's going to make or break your life and your world. None of the exterior happening right now, if you turned it off, you would know it. And if it is in your face, and if it is in your energy field, if it's your health, wealth, abundance, emotions, relationships, if any of those are being impacted in the world right now, it's time for you to pull out that warrior, pull out the sword within you, instead of going after them and telling them, you're wrong. It's because you did this. My life is a mess. And that's how it works. We have to take back our power and we have to take back the reasoning why we're looking for the negativity in other people so we don't have to look at our own self. That's what the quote means. We have to take back our, our warrior status and beat down every negative self-judgment, self-critiquing, self-analyzing, e emotional pain and own it and say, you know what? What do I have to do to break this down and, and beat down and, and cut off the, the, the energy source to this negative self-judgment? Because if you want to look at your life as a whole, we are all divine source one energy. And when you fall into a negative viewpoint, you're on the lowest aspect of the consciousness scale. On the consciousness scale, there's nothing wrong with it being on the low end. It just means that you're in anger and resentment and, and criticism and apathy and grief and anxiety and, and fear. And when we're acting from fear, we're acting from negative self-criticism and self-judgment. And we're acting from love, we have to pull out that sword and say, I'm going to do everything that is in my way. I'm going to cut it out. Releasing friends, releasing emotions, releasing situations, releasing toxic debris in my life, whether it's substances or people or energies or environments, stop going there. People keep asking me, what do I do, Don? Don't go there. Don't open the door. Don't turn on your social media. Don't turn on the TV. Don't walk into that environment. That is what I'm trying to teach all of you right now, which is I will be the warrior I need to be to beat down every negative self-judgment. And that negative self-judgment comes when you feel bad about yourself because you're engaging in the external waiting for them to tell you you're great. No one's gonna tell you that. They're not going to come up and to you on a daily basis, you're amazing. It happens in here. And so I want you all to pull out the sword Cut the chains that are holding you back. Be the warrior. Warrior yourself out of that place of self-criticism and judgment and fear and push yourself into love and start loving yourself. Critiquing yourself on a love platform. How can I love myself today? How can I nurture myself? How can I um, pamper myself today? How can I do something to spoil me today and love me, body, mind, and spirit? I wish you guys all brightest blessings. Have a great day. Go be a badass warrior.